Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to find area using Riemann sums. Now, it's a very important fundamental idea in calculus, and that this will help you and lead to f using definite integrals in a more concise way. But finding area is an important part of definite integrals, which is why they use Riemann sums to set it up. So let's talk about the formula for this. And you're given that you have a closed interval, a, b, as your endpoints, and here's the formula associated with that. Now, with finding area, you're using a, a, a sequence of rectangles. And in this case, it's an infinite sequence of rectangles. And remember that area of a rectangle is length times width, but we're actually using the revised formula, length times height. And when you think about it, length times height also gives you the area of a rectangle. So here's the formula associated with this. The limit, as n approaches infinity, we'll talk about what the variables mean shortly, of the sum, i equals 1 to n of f of delta xi, excuse me, f of xi times delta x. So n stands for the number of rectangles. So the number of rectangles will go towards infinity. We're talking about an infinite sequence of rectangles. Now, again, the, this is crossed out. The xi is equal to a plus i delta x. Now, a is the left endpoint. i is this i over here. Delta x, which we'll talk about right now, is another formula. b minus a, which are the endpoints subtracted from each other over the number of rectangles. And basically, the idea here is, on any given particular problem, if you're asked to find an area, you can plug in and know what xi would be, what delta x would be, and then go from there. And basically, it's a kind of a long-winded problem, but you'll be able to, at the end of the day, it's a limit problem. So the limit will give you the actual, actual error using Riemann sums. Now, just as an FYI, most problems assume that the uniform delta x. Now, delta x refers to the length, and f of xi refers to the height. So it's a series of areas of rectangles that are length times height, but once in a while you might be asked to find out where the lengths will vary. But more often than not, the problems of areas using Riemann sums will be uniform lengths. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's the strategy for finding area using Riemann sums.